Okay, so today I thought I'd show you my uh, first attempt at an aquaponics setup. For those of you who don't know, aquaponics is basically a combination of aquaculture, which is growing and raising fish or mussels or prawns or lobsters or whatever you want to grow in the water, and uh, hydroponics, which is the practice of growing plants in a water solution and grow bed medium. Uh, what aquaponics does basically is it combines the two so what you actually have is you have fish tanks or fish tank I got two tanks right now um, as you see the rapid insulation because it does get hot here in Tucson so I want to keep the, the water temperature as constant as possible and avoid the big swings between daytime and nighttime uh, what I basically did was I took two 330 gallon uh, IBC totes and uh, I cut them. As you can see, I cut this one so it was about to the first bar, which is probably about 15, 16 inches or so. Uh, and this one I cut to the second bar. Now, what this is, is my take on a chipped pist system, which is constant height in fish tank, C H I F T, and pump in sump tank, P I S T. So what that means is that these two will be the fish tanks. So you'll have a big fish tank up here, which is this is the smaller of the two fish tanks. Uh, you can see I cut an opening for the drain valve so I could drain that out if I ever have to flush the system for any reason. Put the cover on here. And as you can see, to aerate the water, I put tube all the way around. Uh, and that comes from down in the sump. There's a pump down there that pumps up into this tank. So the water that comes into here, this will be where the first set of fish are going to be. Right now I don't have any fish in here. This is really just a holding tank at this point in time. From this tank, it basically just flows through this two-inch pipe with an elbow down to this tank, which I don't currently have the cover on, but I have a cover for this one as well. As you can see inside here, we just got a few feeder fish. We got probably, I don't know, maybe 50 or so little feeder fish inside here. And this is just to get the system going. In order to get the system going, you have to raise the ammonia levels. And the little feeder fish are pretty good about doing that with all their uh, peeing and pooing that they do. And when they raise the ammonia levels, the water flows through this tube here, which I see a screen on there, so it's just going to put here. Flows out this tube into this grill media, which is basically expanded clay. Which is standard hydro hydroponic expanded clay. Underneath there I do have some, uh, uh, mixed in some perlite. Uh, instead of just all expanded clay, because it's well, primarily for cost savings. Expanded clay is expensive and perlite's not that expensive. Now what's going to happen is, is the ammonia and all the other byproducts of the fish living up in here comes out into this tank, it floods this tank, and by the way this is also a constant flooded system, uh, constant flow. So it floods this tank and beneficial bacteria will eventually start to grow on all this grow media here. And what that will do is it will actually filter the water from up inside here so it'll take the ammonia and it'll turn it into nitrates, and those nitrates can then be used to grow plants. So this grow media, as you can see, it's kind of, you can see the water just below the surface there. So we'll put plants in this grow media, whether it be strawberries or uh, lettuce or kale or what have you. You can grow just about anything in this grow media in this flooded system. From this tank, the partially filtered water comes down into this tank which is going to be used, I'm going to use this as a sump. I'm also going to use it <clears throat> as a raft growing tank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the leftover styrofoam I have from the insulation up here. I'm going to cut round holes in it and put baskets into that uh, styrofoam. When you put the baskets into that styrofoam, you can put the grow media into those baskets. And you can put the baskets through the holes in the styrofoam and have it float on top of the water here in the sump. And then you can use this for actually growing plants as well. Because this water will still be pretty rich in, uh, in, in nutrients. 
Now, once the water comes into this tank, I have a pump sitting inside this bucket, which I just drilled a, a, a bunch of quarter-inch holes in uh, so that the water flows in there nice and easily. And it keeps the pump nice and clean. Uh, and then the water comes from that pump, pumps up this line through that tube, up the top, and then back into that first tank that I showed you with all the lines that go all the way around it. That's the basic design of the entire system. Now what I'm going to also do is I'm going to add in my little garden center over here, which I've shown you guys before. I'm going to have another line, another two inch line that drains out of here. And it's going to come down and flow into here. And I'm going to take uh, a 55 gallon rain barrel, which I have a few of. These are obviously in use, but I have a few others. I'm going to cut it in half, and I'm going to place them in here. And when I place the rain barrel inside here, I'm going to fill it with grow media. Water is going to flow out of that tank into these two, which will be uh, grow media inside the 55 gallon barrel. Again, a constant flow, constantly flooded system. The water will then drain back out and drain back down into that sump over there as well. And that should give me a good amount of grow space for growing plants. And it'll give me two rather large tanks for growing the fish. And one of the reasons why I want to have the two tanks for growing the fish is so that I can kind of have a cycle going of fingerlings in one tank and fish that are close to ready to be harvested in the other tank. Uh, with as little con you know, conflict between the two of them as there, there can be. So that way the smaller fish can grow uh, in relative peace and the larger fish can, well, enjoy their last few days on Earth. <laughs> and as the fish get bigger in the small tank, I can transfer them over into the big tank and the life cycle goes on. So, that's my basic design and uh, I'll keep you guys informed and updated as to how it, how it comes out. Thanks for watching. Bye.